you've been invited to interview and you want to know, not unreasonably, what kind of interview you can expect. Is it going to be conversational, pretty straightforward, or adversarial, lots of journalistic finger wagging, in which case it might be much more difficult. Here's how to tell. So here's how you can predict whether you're going to have a conversational, if you like, a cold style of interview, or whether it's going to be much hotter, it's going to be a much more adversarial style of interview. So you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen there, it's cold, it's blue, and up here in the top right hand corner, the top right hand quadrant, it is very hot uh, indeed. It's going to depend largely on whether you are delivering information, let's say facts, over here on the left hand side of the screen, or whether you're going to be taking a position, perhaps offering opinions over here on the right hand side of the screen. And then top and bottom is what you're saying uncontested down at the bottom in the middle here, or is it very much contested up here at the top of the screen? And it's simply a case of working out, yes, what I'm saying is positional and it's contested, and therefore I'm gonna be in hot water, or no, actually what I'm saying is uncontested, it's informational, and I'm gonna be somewhere down here uh, with the little owl in the left-hand uh, quadrant. And of course, the reality is that some interviews are a little bit of both, and you're gonna be the gray owl right in the middle of the screen. So let's think of a couple of examples. You're uh, an expert on plate tectonics. You know everything there is to know about earthquakes as a consequence. And you've been invited onto local radio to talk about a modest little earthquake in some town or city somewhere in, let's say, the UK. Now, um, your role is to, to tell people as much as you know about earthquakes, how they propagate, how often they occur in the UK, uh, to describe the Richter scale and perhaps the history of the Richter scale, etc., etc. No one is going to question your credentials. It's not at all controversial. It's informational. So you'll find yourself giving a cold, informational, uncontested interview. The little owl, if you like, the ACM training owl, that's you, is there in the bottom left-hand corner. But let's think of another example. You are a social scientist. You are looking at migration policy. That feels quite topical at the moment. And your position is that the British Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, is bang out of line in her use of inflammatory language around small boats crossing the English Channel. And you decide to use the interview to take a position to call her out. Well, of course, politically at least, that is going to be highly contested. And you'll find yourself, if not in political hot water, in interview hot water, right there up where the owl is in the right-hand corner of the quadrant. And of course the reality is a lot of interviews are a little bit of both. Some information, but based on that information as an academic you may have taken a position, in which case it can be, let's say, warm, lukewarm or scalding. So try to work out in advance what kind of style of interview you're likely to be confronted by. Is it going to be conversational? Is it going to be adversarial? or is it somewhere in between the two? And prepare accordingly. The more adversarial the interview, the more pushback you get, the more determined you have to be, the more prepared you have to be to hold on to your position. The last thing you want to do is to be pushed back during an interview if that's not something you want to do.